Hello and welcome as we continue this week's journey toward Pentecost Sunday, May the 23rd, 2021. Today we will be looking at the Gospel reading for Sunday, which comes from St. John in the 15th chapter, verses 26 and 27, and then moving ahead to the 16th chapter, uh, beginning at the second half of verse 4 and reading through 15. So let me uh, read for you the introduction, then the Gospel itself, and share with you some of the reflections that I've gathered for today. While speaking to his disciples before his death, Jesus refers to the Holy Spirit as the helper and describes the difference the Spirit will make in their lives and in the world. Jesus said, when the advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who comes from the Father, he will testify on my behalf. You also are to testify because you have been with me from the beginning. I did not say these things to you from the beginning because I was with you, but now I am going to him who sent me. Yet none of you asks me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away for if I do not go away, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will prove the world wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment. About sin, because they do not believe in me. About righteousness, because I am going to the Father and you will see me no longer. About judgment, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own, but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason I said, he will take what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. The Sunday that we call Pentecost serves as a culmination of the season of Easter and a prelude into the Sunday that we call Holy Trinity. It's also an introduction into what I call the long green season, where we do not change the green pyramids for nearly five full months. During the Sundays of Easter, we have reflected on resurrection life, which is both now and still to come in the future, what theologians often refer to as the already and not yet. We live a resurrection life here and now, and we long for the fulfillment of resurrection life in eternity with God. Pentecost introduces us more directly to God's Holy Spirit, which has been around since creation, as God's Spirit hovered over the formless void in the beginning uh, according to Genesis 1 verse 2. As we remember Pentecost, God's Holy Spirit becomes almost tangible as Jesus promised that the Holy Spirit becomes God's gift to us to prove the world wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment and will guide us into all the truth. Jesus' promise of God's Holy Spirit in today's reading comes on the night before Jesus is to be crucified. Like we have heard over these past few weeks of Gospel readings, even as Jesus confronts his impending, unimaginably cruel form of execution, 
his thoughts are for his followers, who will soon be feeling lost and abandoned. God's Holy Spirit will become for Jesus' followers both comforter and teacher. The Greek word translated into English here as advocate is paraclete. It can be translated into English also as intercessor, counselor, comforter, helper, motivator, and so on. For the original disciples, God's Holy Spirit becomes comforter and also motivator. The same is true for us current disciples. God's Holy Spirit is comforter and also motivator. We are not provided with God's Holy Spirit so that we can be only passive recipients. God's Holy Spirit also provides that hefty nudge that moves us beyond our comfort zones and toward continuing the mission of building up God's church. As inheritors of Pentecost, Redeemer's community has indeed received God's promised Holy Spirit. Now our community of believers, just as those first disciples, are comforted, encouraged, and sent with Jesus' words of promise. God's Holy Spirit's identity and mission is to encourage, teach, and send us into the world to be witnesses to God's love and promised salvation to all of creation. Salvation has come in the fulfillment of Jesus' mission. God's Holy Spirit has come to continue the mission of salvation and to continue to convince those who hear the gospel that this is indeed good news and true. Thank you for joining me again today as we continue our journey toward Pentecost Sunday, May the 23rd, 2021. I hope you're having a great day. Take care. God bless.